Hi students, let us continue with the array concept. So in the previous video, I explained about the different types of arrays, means representation of arrays that is in the one dimensional and the two dimensional. Now let us see uh, how the array will be stored, uh, the two dimensional array is stored in memory. There are two ways to store two dimensional arrays in memory. That is the column major order and the row major order. So these are the, uh, you have to store the data that is a two dimensional array either in column major order or in row major order so whatever the order you have taken but the memory will store the data in linear form okay so here uh, this is a memory so in this mem uh, here the data will be stored either in column major order in row major order now let us see Let's take a two-dimensional array that is a three rows and four columns, three by five size, three rows and four columns, zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three is the indices. So that based on your compiler, the index will start with one or zero. So if you take the row major order, if you want to store the data in row major order, the elements are stored in memory row by row. So this array will stored in memory if you in row major order, if you consider the row major order, the elements are stored in memory row by row. What it means? So the first row A1, A12, A13, A14. Okay. So everything the memory will be uh, in the linear form. So it is in like linear form. It's a sequential. So after that next row A21, A22, A23, A24. This is the second row. And next, the third row will store in A31, A32, A33, A34. So, this is how the elements are stored in memory. I am just explaining here how the elements of uh, uh, that is a two dimensional array will stored in memory. So, the first, this if you take the row major order, the it will store in row by row. First row, second row, third row. If you take the column major order, so what is the difference there? Here, the elements are stored in memory column by column whereas in row major order the elements are stored in memory row by row but here in the here uh, column by column let's see here so the same example whatever we have taken this is the example so this is an example so first it stores in row first row second row third row if you consider the column just it takes like this a11, A21, A31. So first it stores A11, A21, A31. So next it stores the second column, column by column. A12, A22, A32. So A11, A22, A32. Next A13, like A23, A33. And the fourth column. So this is the column major order. The rows are store, uh, store, row major, if you consider the row major order, the elements are stored in memory row by row. Whereas if you consider the column major order, the elements are stored in memory column by column. Suppose if two dimensional array is of size m by n. So here in the previous example, I have taken three rows and the four columns. Suppose if your matrix is, you don't know the size, it should be an m by n matrix. Then what will be the formula for this? So for if, if you know the size of the matrix, then you can directly calculate. If you want to find out the element, you can directly search through the, uh, that is, a, you can search through the rows and the columns and then you can find exactly where the element was. But if you consider a M by N array of size, then you have to follow the formula. The address of element here, First, you need to uh, find out any address of the element. Suppose A13 or you want a, some, a, some other element in middle here. So, if you want that address of that particular element, you have to follow this rule. First row and first column of A. The first row and the first column of A, that is A11 is called the base address. Base of A. So, this you call it as, let us take this is L0. Okay. So, the first row and the first column of A is a base address. If you want to calculate the address of element, first you need, uh, first you have to know the base address. That is the first element address. Okay. So next, uh, so this is a base address. So if you know the base address, then this will be the formula for calculating the address of a particular element. So whatever the element that is the 0 and the kth column and the 0 and kth column. Uh, the column, if you follow the column major order, this will be the formula. 
and if you follow the row major order and this will be the formula base a is a starting address the first row and the first column that is a zero row or zero column okay that is l0 that is a base address and here w is the size of the element what do you call the size of the element size of the element is nothing but the size of element is nothing but the data type size so whether you are using the uh, integer if integer it is 2 if it is a float it is 4 so that w represents the size of the element and here m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns here they are taking k minus 1 and j minus 1 that is a particular element that is the j row and k column you are having one particular element that element so here why i have taken k minus 1 and j minus 1 if the index or starts with the, suppose 0 1 2 1 2 3 like this 0 1 2 so if the index starts with 0 then it should be mk plus j if the index also starts with 1 okay if the index or starts with 1 then this will be the formula base address plus w of m k minus 1 plus j minus 1 okay and for a, a row major address you have to take base address and w is the size of the element n into z minus 1 plus k minus 1 okay so don't be confused when i am explaining the examples then you will clearly uh, understand what this uh, formula means okay so in the next video i will explain how to calculate the address of a particular element in a matrix by using the column major road and row major order thank you